just I don't it looks like they might not even adjust and maybe it's just a salty map. run back it may be <laughs> a lot of insta picks i'm thinking it's that salty run back wow i mean i don't hate it gmu was right there multiple times i mean they went up 2-0 clearly they are able to score on the kai oh wait a minute no, 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 the Juliet is oh, the spectator yeah. once again. <laughs> no yep. way I just fell for that this far into our show. <laughs> yeah, so the same comps we're seeing here. But we're, we're in Oni Village. Yeah, the speed up on the side panels really changes things, really speeds up the gameplay. Yeah. Makes the map kind of feel a bit smaller, and then you have your corner kind of goal, goal barriers that you, you sort of give one up, and then the other one is so hard to get. Yeah, for sure. And you mentioned, you know, the map feeling smaller, but with how far out these corner goal barriers go, I mean, it does make the map smaller, and especially with those speed ups. Um, I, I would love to see how, specifically, I would love to see an Asher play, like how she utilizes this um, potentially deadly speed up on the sides to make plays on these goal barriers, as Asher is so good at stuffing through. Yeah, because one one of one of Asher's inherent weaknesses is that she's kind of slow. Yeah, like she has so much power. Whoa. And wow. Yeah, George Mason able to get that goal barrier, Whoa. and Ole Miss is down. George go. Mason up 1-0. But you bring up a good point about those goal barriers, Nolan. It seems like the pressure on those things, like you exact one, you defend the other. And then from there, you just kind of adapt, right? Yeah. And, like, you'll see Spartan did the same thing there. Like, if the core was heading down, he's like, eh, oh. forget about it. I'll just protect the other one. Yeah, but he does let that one slide. And now you're in an awkward situation if you're George Mason. But um, with zero goal barriers left and Kai holding firm on the other end. But see if Ole Miss can find, find a goal here on the open net. It's not looking like it yet, as Asher is certainly asserting her dominance. Oh! And no. accidentally clicks the elusive, not being able to strike during that elusive, letting the core slide past. Wow, and I'm wondering if these players are starting to feel the nerves a little bit. We did see a slight misclick in the last game with Spartan putting putting the core in his own net. Um, so I don't know. I mean, we'll see if, if maybe the... The pressure's getting to be a little much. Yeah, and you also have to think they've been through five round robin games. The, these Both of these teams have been through quarterfinal games. So they've been playing a lot today. So fatigue yeah. is also a big question as oh. we also see the Asher get KO'd there. Yeah, lots, lots of Omega Strikers has been played today. But <laughs> we see a core flip coming out from Rune. Nothing to come of it. Um, pretty well stuffed by Dubu. Yeah, Wiggly Wobbly is now down and out on the stature, looking to regen a little bit of it back, but also Wiggly Wobbly has that core flip. There it is. Not able to get too much value off of it, but just keeping oh. up that pressure. My goodness, the Juno Yachty able to take out the Asher off the top. Man, I really would have liked to see a little bit more from Wiggly Wobbly's core flip there. That kind of just led to nothing. <laughs> And Spartan lets one fly, and now he has his core flip, so he should be okay. But pressure's on now for the rest of George oh, oh Mason. Oh. Never mind. Really, really well played by Start with those timings to react to the core flip. Yeah, and I want to see if possibly our observer can get us some trainings, because it looks like at the bottom that they all have glass cannon, which is going to increase the speed and increase the power of all your shots and abilities if you aren't hit and that just keeps scaling up to a point. So these hits are all gonna be super powerful. Everyone's gaining speed. So oh. it's just so hectic. It makes sense. The game pace feels a lot faster just from watching as we do see Yachty wow. has that core strike. It is two to two right now as we keep getting closer. But I wanna go back for a second. Okay, yes, you there we go. It, yeah. Everyone all in this glass game cannons. has glass cannon. I think we were on to something about fatigue. I think it's beginning to settle in a little bit, and it might be the magic word that's breaking the camel's back, is when you hear it, suddenly you begin to feel it. But as we continue forward, it's going to be an endurance test at this point. Not only do you need to have amazing gameplay, have these outplays, as we see with the Asher keeping up that pressure, 
but you need to be just conservative with your energy. Yeah, George Mason holding strong right now with both gold barriers still up. Um, while Ole Miss has an open net, and this is this is it's two to two right now. Like this, this is a very important point, and George Mason is not flinching at all. Let's see if they can punch it in without even letting a gold barrier up, but Ooh. not at this rate with Fluffy Waffles finding a Giga Blast to the corner and sending Yachty packing, but as we finally see the first goal barrier go down for George Mason, nothing to panic about as Spartan still holds strong, and you see start is staggered. Keep an eye on that. See if he might be able to get okay. Slime. is putting on a lot of pressure. This Asher trying to position. I, doesn't Whoa. matter. Talk about an angle. I mean, with that overtime speed, with that glass cannon buildup, that strike came in so fast, and you ain't reacting to that at that point. Yeah, yeah. and we we're talking about the salty run back. Like, here they score the first set. Like, yeah, they're they certainly go. not out of this, so don't count them out. Yeah, and we saw it in game one, right? A 3-0 is grossly unfair to, dis to uh, describe that first game. Um, so, yeah, I mean, sure enough, we find George Mason striking first in this game. Um, and yeah, I mean, maybe the salty run back was the answer. Maybe we were just overthinking it. <laughs> yeah, and again, this Kai has the specialized training. Oh. So you thought that Giga Blast oh. was hitting hard with Glass Cannon? Yep. Now you gotta worry about it even more. Yep. This is going to chunk you. Yeah, see, oh over half your health. Goodness. Just staggered from that and the banish. That's craziness. Yeah, I'm stunned. That is wild. Vega. Finding himself in an awkward situation, although he is still alive and doesn't look like he will be killed, but still very low and staggered nonetheless. Um, again, we have an open open net for Ole Miss. Yeah, we do see the Asher Wall able to get those bounces. Is it oh. enough? It wow. is. George Mason is beginning to show why they wanted to be in this third place match to begin with. They have such a strong presence coming into this, and now, it's really starting to show the level of skill of these players. Yeah, and I'm, I'm curious. I don't remember myself, and I'm curious if you guys do. Was there anyone before Kai that could have taken specialized training away from him? Um, no. No. Okay. Oh, great save, though, by Spartan to protect the other full barrier. But I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, that's, that's a very high-value true awakening to let Kai have, but... We do see an open net for George Mason, and this is the first time, at least in a while, that we've seen George Mason's net open up first. Yeah, if it was not taken first, it was because Wiggly Wobbly wanted prime time. That was very early on as well. Um, we do see the Asher Wall come Ooh, through. Fluffy. Oh, man. Oh, look at that pressure as now the core bouncing back and forth, the glass cannon speed just causing this match, this pace, to increase so drastically as Dubu has his core flip used and now Asher has one as well. Yeah, so Nolan, can can you tell us a little bit about the levels in this game? Because I'm noticing that uh, Rune and um, Asher are pretty under leveled, but it doesn't seem to have as much of an effect as it used to. Yeah, so the levels are still similar to what they used to be. You're still gonna gain nice. level, ow, wow, as Asher sinks one in at an incredible angle to where Fluffy just could not react. You see the overtime speed really coming in, but to revisit that question. Levels. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry. They but are. yeah, they're gonna give you, you're gonna get them from the orbs that you'll see pop up. Those will also give you stagger from KOs, from hitting the core, but they're not really as significant as those awakenings. Those awakenings uh. are everything. Though you will, through the awakenings draft, the better you do in a round, so kind of the more XP you get, the higher up you will be in that awakening. So those do kind of matter. Yeah, so they do go hand in hand. And that's not something I realized, that um, the like MVP voting is based off XP. And I guess that makes sense. Um, but that is not something I considered. So just interesting thing to keep an eye on as these games progress, right? Um, as the numbers next to these players' health bars is generally a pretty good indication of, you know, of what level of impact they're having on the game, but always, you know, oh, wow, man, we're dangerous seeing, shot. Yeah, we're seeing the regen come in a little bit from Asher, but, I mean, 
Wiggly Wobbly and Ash are just taking hits. The amount of damage buildup is beginning to hit ridiculous oh. levels as GMU's going up in this series very commandingly. Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, a salty run back is not really a salty run back. <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, they, they clearly were confident in the composition they had before. Ooh. And yeah, okay. And one thing I have to comment on here is you cannot let that Asher get unstoppable or she will be on your face. You cannot knock her back and she will just push that core in like you have not seen it before. Nolan. Oh, Nolan. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, will they and go for it? No. Oh, oh, she didn't take it. Moments. And that really surprises me. Because oh, wow. the power of Asher forward of the unstoppable is insane. Man. Surprising I, stuff. Yeah. The playstyle is getting crazy. I do think we're seeing the projectiles from Kai again racking up even more damage, which is going to be a beautiful oh, sight. Oh, Spartan. Let yeah. two fly there. And we have an early open net for George Mason, but clearly uh, they've, they've been here before and have not folded. I mean, are we going to see two back-to-back 3-0s -back <laughs> and go to game three? We very well might. As oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, we have had our share of reverse sweeps today. So. We sure have. That's a great point, Nolan. <laughs> as Yachty does find a strange angle off the corner and... Yeah, we, I mean, we have a look at these. I mean, yeah, having the special upgrade, having, like, I'm expecting this Kai to melt people, but the goals are still opening up early. It feels like GMU's not out of this yet as they keep up this pressure on Ole Miss's side of the field. Yeah, and at what point do you start feeling the lack of Unstoppable? Oh. Certainly not yet because Wiggly Wobbly's taking it in his own hands, but... Uh, I mean, Asher is kind of getting thrown around a bit. Um, just, you know, absorbing a lot of damage as you would, as you know, in any type of frontline character. Um, yeah, but. and we actually see that speed that Asher ended up taking. It's really putting in work here. So maybe I was wrong, but she's just putting on so much pressure, just living in the goal arc of Ole Miss. Yeah, she I mean, look at her. She, yeah, she is flying around the map, and here we go. Oh, there's oh, that yeah. pressure. Yep. I, and what are you to do? It's that simple for Vega on this Asher. I mean, this is overwhelming. If George Mason scores one more goal, we are going to game three. Yeah, I mean, Vega has the core flip. Fluffy has the core flip. And they're starting to build up on Start and Wiggly Wobbly. Oh, but oh, now oh, there's oh, the same. Wow. There's one taken down on the side of George Mason. Dubu using the core flip right oh, there. Oh, I like that angle. That looked like it could have been a goal from Vega, but great oh. patience oh. again. Vega's shoving it right down Ole Miss's throat. I mean, just running through them. Oh. And and if this is a horror story, Asher is the boogeyman <laughs> because she is 